Sometimes we're very happy with a photo, but it needs something, and that something may be a little extra canvas to improve the composition. And doing that in Photoshop is very easy to do. Hello amigos, I'm Pablo Garcia, the engineer photographer. And first, sorry for my voice, I'm recovering from a cold, but I wanted to record this video. A few months ago, last November, I was in Alaska photographing bald eagles at the Shilkat River Bald Eagle Preserve, and I took this image among many other images that I took. This one was taken at ISO 2500, it has a little bit of noise, and I really like the wing position of this beautiful bird. As part of my general workflow, and here's the video, on the workflow that includes using DxO Pure Raw 2, which is my favorite plugin for removing noise on images that have any kind of noise and also that may be a little bit dark. Take a look at that video for the complete workflow. So I started with this image. I didn't track the bird perfectly. The bird is a little bit on the bottom of the frame. After I came back from DxO, I edited the image. I opened the shadows, added clarity, did my global and local adjustments for the workflow that I just showed you on that video, and this is the resulting image. I'm really happy with it. This was taken with a Canon R5 with a lens EF 500mm, the second version, at F4. And the image is really nice. I, I really love this image. Now, this image is very dynamic. I tried to crop it having more room on the right of the bird, being able to show that movement from left to right. But what he needs is that I also wanted to show a little bit of the movement from top to bottom. And I ran out of space right at the bottom of the image. And that's where using the technique of adding canvas in Photoshop comes in. And by doing that, I was able to add a new portion of the image and recrop my image, change the cropping a bit, so now this is the resulting image, before and after. I really like this image better, right? The bird is a little higher on the frame, there's a little more room on the bottom, and now I have the sense of both movement left to right and top to bottom. Now, let's go to Photoshop, and I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do. So I'm gonna start with this image, which was already my edited image, I'm going to right click on it, say edit, edit in Photoshop 2023. It's going to open Photoshop, just takes a few seconds, and here we are. The first step in adding Canvas is to enable the crop tool. So we select the crop tool, and now I have the handles, and I want to stretch at the bottom. So I'm going to move, and I'm going to tell Photoshop I want to make the photo bigger. I'm going to give myself a little more room than what I need. And basically, it now has an area of transparent pixels. There is nothing there. Now, I'm going to go at the top menu, the options for the crop tool. And one of them, there is a box where you can put a check mark for content aware. Automatically, when I close the crop tool and accept the changes, Photoshop is going to enable content aware, is going to look at pixels that are in that general area, and it's going to create new pixels. So all I have to do is accept it. It's going to take a few seconds to calculate, and almost by magic, it now created new pixels right here at the bottom. The other thing we have to do is check those areas for repetitive patterns or repetitive textures. If you do see them, you can use either the clone stamp tool or the healing brush to erase them, change them, so you end up with very natural results. For this image, the results were very natural. You can see it created pixels of snow. It provides good continuity. All I have to do now is save the image go back to Lightroom, use the crop tool in Lightroom, adjust my composition again, and I'm done. Adding Canvas in Photoshop can be your friend when you just need to extend your image a bit. 
Well, amigos, this was a very quick video. I leave you here with these two videos. This first one is my workflow with the XO Pure Raw 2. And this other one, you know, my approach using mask in Lightroom to create natural looking sky edits. As always, thanks for watching these videos. If you like the videos, I hope you consider subscribing. Tell your friends, give me a like, that helps grow the channel, and I'll see you next time.